Hello everyone, myself Dr. Jyoti Mandala. Welcome you all to the video lecture series on the course Shell Programming. So we are learning about different control statements. So in the last two to, two to three videos, we learned about how if statement, case statement, while and until can be used. So in today's lecture, we'll see about the for and select statements. So, so these two, for and select are used to execute the block of statements more than once. So the main idea of the control statements is to control the flow of execution. Normally it will be sequential flow, but if you want to execute the commands uh, iteratively, then we can go with the iterative statements, looping statements like while, until, for and select. Okay. So today's class will see about the for statement. Let me show you the syntax. So for can also be used similar like your while and until, uh, but the syntax is little bit different and we have four options to work with for. So we'll see all those, sorry, three options. Let me show you all these three first and then we can run and see the execution of all these, okay? So first way I'll show you, then we can see. Okay. First way we'll see. Syntax is like this. Uh, you need to write for and then you need to write down the variable to which you want with which you want to check and with what values you want to check that also you need to mention okay variable for variable in you can give some values 1 2 3 4 any number of values can be given and then depending upon the values if one of these values is chosen whatever you are giving then do and write down the statements whatever you want to execute okay and it, it can be more than one statement okay here it is not like only one statement it can be more than one statement and then finally you need to tell it is done the for loop is done in case of if and switch we used to write reverse fi and esac reverse but in case of iterative statements no we are using do and done okay right now this is the first way so let us see the first way how we are using so for you need to give some set of values if one of these values are chosen then only the statements will be executed so we'll see that mm. what i'll do i'll write for uh, let us take variable i in okay i am giving 1 2 3 4 5 any one of these five values are given no then do Okay, I am writing echo choose selected from given options. If it is not done like this, then then after this I will choose echo. I will write end of file. We will see whether how it is working. Okay. Control yes. So now if you see five times it has been executed. Why? So I value starts from one. Okay. And then uh, it has executed this one. And then I value is given as two. And then second time it has been executed. So I value is three. Third time it has been executed. If you want me to display in the other way, no, it will be very clear to you. Maybe this is a little bit confusion. I will write dollar I. Okay. So then it will be very clear to you. Okay, what I'll do? That output I'll display. So if you see, I value is first one, second time it is two, third time it is three, fourth time it is four, and fifth time it is five. That means you are fixing what are all the I values here. So I value one, two, three, four, five. You are fixing. Okay. If you want, you can write one to ten, one to hundred, one to five hundred. Also, it is okay. But writing the values from 1 to 10, it is little bit okay. But 1 to 100, if you keep on writing the values, it is very difficult for us. So we have a so shortcut for that one. So if you want to give some set of values here, those set of values can be written like this. 1, okay, you need to write 10, like this. Is that clear? So let me run this, whether this will work or not understood so 10 times the loop has been repeated 10 times this statement has been executed there is no condition checking here only this many number of times from 1 to 10 the uh, uh, automatically the y value will be incremented and that many times this will be executed okay and it is displayed 
I hope it is clear. But here the increment is only once. One and then one value will be added and then one more value will be added. That means the increment is one time. But if you want to mention that increment also, then it is very simple. After that time value, like in the, after the range, you need to give uh, amount of increment. Suppose you want to increment twice. Like I values to be for each iteration, the I value to be incremented double. The I value should be double. Then you can give two like this. So let me show you that output also here. Did you see? We got one first, and then it is incremented two times, and then two times, and then two times, and then two times. So finally, after incremented two times, we got twelve. I think ten, eleven. That is not there in there, so it has come out of this one, and it is displaying end of for. Got it? So this is the first way where. With a uh, specific values, whatever you want to, you want to tell those values can be mentioned here with the increment also. This is the first way of writing the for loop. Okay, coming to the second way. The second way is uh, if you want to execute uh, with the um, uh, with the commands, then what can we do? How can we do? For you need to write uh, some variable, and that variable. is executing some commands you can write commands also okay i'll tell you and then do write down the statements and done okay so let us see an example uh, for i i want to execute a command called ls command let me see that okay ls then i told you know li is assigned with ls command i want to execute that ls command so do i want to display what is that ls command then means dollar i i am display we'll see what is the output okay then it will be clear to us so see let us see what will be the output did you see the ls command is nothing but it will display the list of files or directories that are available all the list will be displayed in which directory we are the scripts directory these are all the files available these are all the files directories that are available so ls command similar fashion it i have given only one but if you want to repeatedly execute the things then you can give one more command let me give a command called date or calendar command i'll give one more command i have given okay then uh, in between the command and command if you want to have any this one no? echo i just want to give some differentiation okay control yes did you see first time it is executing ls command second time it is executing the calendar command similarly you can add one more space give date also okay and i what i'll do i'll add one more echo okay like this i'll execute this program do you see first time ls command is executed second time cal command is executed third time date command is executed okay so for for loop along with the for loop we can add commands also we can give commands also as an input got it now we'll see the third option of the for third way of using the for third way of using the for is similar like your c programming and java programming language way it is pretty simple to you all for you need to give two parentheses and then you need to write expression 1 semicolon expression 2 semicolon expression 3 okay and then give parentheses and write on do and do and write on the statements and then done so what is this this expression 1 talks about the condition expression 2 talks about the uh, sorry expression 1 talks about the initialization this talks about the condition this this talks about the increment okay let me show you that one example we'll see and, and I do that so what i'll do okay 
per uh, uh, what what is the condition it is like this no parenthesis i equal to 0 i am writing okay i less than 5 i am writing and then each time i want to increment the i value okay i am displaying the i value echo dollar i just i have written this one i'll erase this one sorry echo dollar i and i'll remove this one got it so simple uh, uh, how it was written in this earlier c programming language c and java how we used to write the for loop similar fashion here save let me check did you see we got an output from 0 to uh, 4 because i have written 5 got it very simple i hope this for loop is clear to you all now we have an another option which is called a select which does exactly like third but it will be like more menu driven display the display will be like more menu driven i'll show you that one also but understand select is mu uh, much pretty similar like your um, fur only okay i'll write here select now how the syntax is The syntax is like this. You need to use select and then you need to write a variable name and then you need to write the list of uh, items. Here the list is must. Okay. And that list will be displayed in a menu option and then you need to write on what are all the statements you want to execute and then done. That's it. With an example, I'll show you. Suppose if I give some um, uh, list of names here, and the, from that list of names, it will be we, it will be asking us to choose one name, and whenever I choose, no, that will be this. I'll write one command, uh, one pro program, then it will be very clear to you. What I'll do? Uh, I'll write uh, for name. Okay, n uh, for name I'm giving. I'm giving some list of names. Jyoti another name mandala another name um, sita just i have given okay and here i will be writing do if one of those options is selected then only it will be displaying echo what i want to display is no dollar n is selected it, it works exactly like your fur okay don't get confused it will take first value it will take second value, it will take third value. But it here no, in uh, not for here, we need to use select. What is the thing here is, it will ask us to choose one value among these. I'll show you, I'll show you how to do that one. So let us save. What happened? Okay, done. Control yes, okay. We'll see this here. Now did you see here a menu has been displayed with a list of values whatever I have given. So it is asking me to choose one value. Okay. I need to give the menu option 1, 2 or 3. So 1 if I give no and click enter I will get as 1 is chosen so I will get Jyoti is selected. Are you understanding? If I give 2 so it is keep on repeating the things. 3 if I give that will be. Suppose other than this I will give anything value is selected. So you can see it is going inside but it is saying dollar and nothing value no value has been given to that one so nothing is selected so no value will be replaced here are you understanding if you want to come out of this one control c you need to click so this is also this also keeps on repeating the things whenever one value is chosen that will be considered here that's it all right so this is about the select option so just for menu uh, uh, if you want to have the options in a menu format then you can go with this okay so this is about uh, the all the control statements we have learned if case while until for and select okay i hope you all are clear with these uh, control statements practice the example programs okay let us all meet in the next lecture with a new topic until then thank you all of you